If you're studying abroad in Barcelona or planning on it, watch this video. I just finished studying abroad in Barcelona with IES and I'm gonna tell you all my tips. First, let's talk about money and get that out of the way. If you're gonna exchange cash for euros, really do it a week or so before leaving and you can avoid any last minute fees. If you bring a credit card abroad, make sure that it doesn't have any extra foreign transaction fees. When I first got to Barcelona, I was really overwhelmed and even though there were staff members from IES there to help me, I was just a little bit scared. One thing that actually helped me was, even though I'm not fluent in Spanish, I did learn a little bit of Spanish before leaving. And just knowing simple things like how to ask someone for help or how to ask someone if they speak English was really helpful. Now for transportation. Uber sadly does not work. Say that it's coming and like eight times out of 10, it just never comes. So don't mess around with that. Instead, you're gonna wanna get some apps that you can use for cabs, either Free Now or Cabify. Honestly, the best thing that I did was just, I got a, my own little Metro card and that saved me so much time. The Metro in Barcelona is so easy to use so much more affordable than just ordering taxis and Ubers. Now let's talk about spending money. Don't spend all of your money on retail shops. Best finds that I had were either from thrift markets, farmers markets, or just secondhand shops in general. Every single piece of jewelry on my body right now, I got either in Spain or in Barcelona at one of the farmers markets. I also got some pretty cool home decor too. Like look at this purple phone. I got this at one of the markets. So. Don't spend all your money on retail shops. A lot of people who study abroad love to travel to different countries, see a lot of different big cities, which is awesome. But I would highly suggest staying in Spain and you can just like take a lot of free trains too from Barcelona to smaller towns. You go to so many cool places like Montserrat, Sitges, um, Girona and some other cool places in Spain that I literally would have never seen if I didn't do that. People think that the only language spoken there is Spanish, but they actually speak Catalan there as well. A lot of the stores and grocery stores will be in Catalan and not in Spanish, so it might be a little bit confusing for you, but I figured it out, you probably can too. Let's talk about safety. You're gonna want to do your own research and you're gonna probably want to talk to your teachers and other trusted adults, but I felt the most safe when all of my important stuff, if I was wearing a backpack, if it was just kind of like in the bottom of a purse, get a smaller purse, you can kind of fit under your arm, just so that it'll make you less susceptible to getting something taken from you. If you're living in an apartment, I would suggest getting a lock for your most important stuff. Unfortunately, I did have some money stolen from me while I was abroad, but I survived. It'll be okay. My last tip is if you're taking a language course, take a hard course because there is no better way to learn a new language than to be immersed in it while also supplementing that with learning in class. I thought it was so helpful. It was really hard, but it helped me so much. Those are all my tips for now. Thank you for watching. I'll put my TikTok right here. I'm gonna be posting more tips on like where to get cheap flights, how to actually figure stuff out like technically. So yeah, thank you.